Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. I'm super excited about today's video. It's gonna be another chill vlog. You guys seem to really like the last video that I put out, so I thought I would do another one. So I just finished getting ready, did my makeup. You guys know when I have makeup on, it means I'm filming. So it's Sunday, doing a little bit of filming today, and I decided to get ready, put on some cute jewelry, and I wanted to share with you guys some of the pieces that I've been loving. So this video is actually in collaboration with Ana Luisa. So they are a conscious luxury jewelry brand, and I'm so excited to be working with them because they make some of the best jewelry pieces at a super affordable price. Their materials are really Really good quality and they're a sustainable company so I think this is probably the thing that I love most about them their goal for this year is to basically lower their carbon footprint to net zero so that means any piece that they're putting out they're trying to give back to the earth which I love I feel like as of past like year I've been super conscious about what I'm consuming in terms of fashion and jewelry and makeup and I'm trying to like minimize the amount of stuff that I buy because I not only want to support companies that care about the earth also want to make sure that I'm doing my part not like buying a million different pieces and you know just not making the earth a good place to be in we you know earth condition as of now especially with the fires and just with everything it's really important to be conscious about how much you're consuming as a consumer and supporting companies that actually care and give back so I love the fact that with every jewelry piece that they make they're trying to give back to the earth and just be more mindful in their business practices so I picked up a few pieces from them and I've been testing them out for the past couple weeks and I have been obsessed you guys so first is this earring these earrings that I have on now these are called the Sia earrings and I absolutely love them they're like that little safety pin earring I love the safety pin trend that's been going on for the past like year I feel like in jewelry I think it's really cute it's a fun way to add kind of like a practical element like you would never think to put a safety pin in your ear or have it be a part of jewelry but I think it looks really pretty when it's done well really dainty earring style and I really love wearing dainty jewelry most of my jewelry is not too clunky I have a few like chunkier pieces but when I do wear them they're kind of like simple on their own good quality material so whenever I like to go dainty these are the type of style that I like so I like to put them in my second hole I don't know whenever I want to do like a very simple look I feel like putting an earring in your second hole just kind of does that I don't know it may be just me it may be weird but I just like the way that it looks it's really nice quality my ears are super sensitive so if I'm wearing like an earring that is like not the best material not the best quality you know what happens to your ears they start burning or they start feeling weird and that does not happen with these I've showered with these for the past week like I said normally I don't wear jewelry in the shower but I did want to test these out and nothing has happened. They have not turned green. They do not tarnish. I probably would recommend you don't wear your jewelry in the shower. But as a test, I did it for you so you don't have to. And just know if you ever forget to take your earrings off, they're not going to turn green or anything like that. So these are super cute. I just love how dainty and just fine they are. They're nice 14 karat plated gold and they're literally so cute. I love the way that I have them on now but I also would probably layer them so maybe have like a bigger hoop in the first hole and then have these and you have like a really pretty like multi-dimensional look on your ear. I just love ear candy. I think these are the perfect little piece to add to your collection and the next thing that I got is the Uma bracelet so this is kind of like a chain link styled bracelet and I love how dainty it looks as you can tell it's just very fine dainty looks really pretty on the wrist and it's also adjustable so I have a really small wrist as you can see my nails are not done so we're not gonna pay attention to that <laughs> but I have a really small wrist adjustable so you're able to make it smaller or bigger depending on how big your big or small your wrist is just love how dainty and pretty it looks I would definitely layer and stack this up I think it's simple enough to wear on its own but it's also a good layering piece if you wanted to have a little jewelry and like wrist stack I think that would look really pretty I think a watch would look really nice I really want to get a watch soon but 
know those are kind of pricey so maybe in the future i will get a watch and this would look really pretty with it i want to show you guys also my outfit so you can kind of tell what it looks like just all together so here is my outfit very simple what i'm wearing is just from misguided it was in my haul and excuse me sir shh, shh. thank you okay outfit is from misguided it was from my haul this is from h&m adds like a really pretty dainty touch not too much we're not really going anywhere these days don't get me wrong i love me a good jewelry stack and i love wearing lots of jewelry but when it comes to just days when you're hanging around in the house or you want to go to the grocery store throwing on a really pretty just dainty piece of jewelry just gives your outfit a little bit of that spice and a little bit of elevation that just makes your outfit look really pretty they're both priced at 59 dollars, i believe which is super affordable for good jewelry i have just come to terms this past year with I cannot do the cheap stuff anymore I think investing in really good quality jewelry doesn't have to be expensive it's good quality material and jewelry it's gonna last you so much longer if you spend a little bit more money but like I said they have a wide range of jewelry options from $39 all the way up to a little bit more pricey in the hundreds so there's something for everyone if you're on a little bit of a budget or if you're willing to to spend a little bit more money there is literally something for everyone and you're going to be able to find something that you love so if you guys want to check out any of Anna Luisa's pieces I will have a discount code for you guys are giving you guys 10% off with my code Tanisha 10 so check out the description box for all of the info I'll have these two pieces the exact links for you guys if you want to check them out or look at any of their other pieces they are super pretty and I am like drooling at a lot of the pieces that they have on their website so definitely check them out and yeah we're gonna get started with the rest of our day like I said I have some filming to do oh I actually did something fun yesterday so I went car shopping yes car shopping I feel like I've talked about this before obviously I don't have a car anymore I got rid of my car a couple months couple months ago I have been looking at this new Volkswagen that I was like oh my god this car is a beaut it's beautiful so there's actually a Volkswagen dealership that's kind of close to where I live and I was like hmm let's go check this out checked out the car at the Volkswagen dealership and I think I'm gonna insert that footage here so you guys can kind of check out my thoughts what car I'm thinking about getting when I'm thinking about getting it maybe I already got it we'll see but I'm gonna insert that footage here what? okay little change in plans we are going to car dealership look at Volkswagen <gasps> they see us walking in they're trying to get us already we're just looking we are just looking I'm practicing my assertiveness no thanks we're just looking we're just looking <gasps> oh is it that right there oh wait no it's not that one so we're in the car the Arteon. So nice. Tyler was saying that his head hits at the top, but like, it's fine it's for like, me. Oh, we drive over bumps. Yeah. And this is as low it goes, so. Yeah. Yeah, that's a problem for me. <laughs> That'd be a car for you. Let's see. No, it's the same. I like how you can adjust. Like, see how it's far perfect back for I me. Yeah. No, it is perfect for you. I like how it feels. Let's try the seat belt. Are you fine shotgun? Yeah. Like, how does it feel shotgun? Do you still feel like... No, I feel good. Because it's like I can like go all the way back. Like I don't have to have my hands on the steering wheel. Yeah. And the seats are really comfy. Yeah, they are. <laughs> I like, not, like mm -hmm. That's what it looks like, guys. Show you the. I don't know if it turns on again. That's what it looks like. The interior. Super nice inside. I like that this has a cover. It just, like, it feels like a nice car. That car is literally gorgeous. 
gorgeous. I've never seen, never been like down, never been like really feeding for any other car recently. But as soon as I saw that vehicle, I was like, hmm. But I definitely need to do a little bit more research, like I said, think about it a little bit more and just not be so impulsive. Obviously with buying a car, that is the last thing that you wanna do is be impulsive. So I definitely need to like chill out take a breather. I took some photos actually that I could just have them on my phone and I don't know maybe I'm manifesting it. I did a vision board with Tyler um, I think like a couple months back like kind of when quarantine started we did like vision boards. It was honestly like guys I recommend doing a vision board 1000% because I think a lot of the things that I put on my vision board actually came true and it's really like i know people talk about vision boards all the time it's not necessarily like about like okay you make a vision board and everything's gonna happen like no i think it's actually the fact of you putting it out there into the world you visualizing it and then making the steps towards actually making that thing happen like you can't just like put it on a paper and expect it to happen you actually need to like work towards it which i think some people don't get they're just like if i put on a vision board it's gonna come true right no sis you need to put in the work definitely think that manifesting works and i took a few photos of the car because i was super excited but that's what it looks like just so gorgeous i was like ah! i need to like take a photo print it out put it on a vision board and we'll see so definitely not getting a car anytime soon because honestly there's no point i'm not really going anywhere but it would be nice to get that <laughs> but we're gonna wait till next year and just like give it some time um and i'll just drive tyler's car in the meantime rack up the miles on that thing i need to clean up a little bit and then i'm gonna start filming and yeah oh i want to show you guys also these flowers that tyler got me the other day put them right there so you can see it a little bit better here are the flowers that Tyler got me the other day. How pretty are those? I sent him to Trader Joe's to get me some wine. We just wanted some cheap wine just to drink. Came back with these, which I thought was really sweet. <laughs> I was not expecting them. They're kind of like fall vibes. He went with white and orange just to, you know, really bring in the fall. And I think they look really pretty. I love roses. I think roses, hydrangeas, hydrangeas? hydrangeas, peonies, they're like all my favorite flowers. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love any type of flower, but those are definitely my favorite, and they smell so good. Oh, they smell so good. I feel like my room already looks full with like the brown decor that I have. Oh, here's the wine that we got at Trader Joe's. If you guys are looking to try wine, this is the Chardonnay. It was definitely sweeter. It was like, I'm really bad at like describing wines, but if I had to like describe it, it was like buttery, sweet, and I don't know, that's all I got. <laughs> it was definitely sweet though. Like I like a Pinot Grigio, like really dry white wine. If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna go white, I want it to be a little bit dry, and that was a little too sweet. So if you like sweet, try it. It's called Spear Chardonnay, but I personally just am not down for the sweetness. I wanted to also show you guys, there's like so many new updates, so I'm just gonna show you guys all the update things. So I got this new plant, I'll turn it around. I got this new plant from Plant Nursery that me and Tyler always go to. It's our favorite nursery, they have all the best plants, they're really taken care of, like the plants are great quality, they, they're healthy, all that. It's a Hartley philodendron. You guys know I've been really into plants lately and now I have seven plants. So I feel like I went from zero to 100 and literally got so many plants. So this is my Hartley philodendron. She's gorgeous. I cannot wait till she starts trailing down. I got this, um, Tyler made a few holes because he couldn't find the stud, but I got this planter from Rolling Greens in Culver City. So if you guys are in the LA area and you are looking for good pots or planters or anything like that, check them out. This was, I think, like $23. Um, but I'll try to link some similar pots down below if you guys are looking for some cute hanging planters. That adds a little pop of greenery. I wanted to have 
a hanging plant in my room that didn't need like bright and direct light. I feel like every single plant that I have needs bright and direct light and it needs a lot of humidity and all of that and all of my bath all of my plants I'll show you right now they're all in the bathroom because they all are divas like they need great lighting and so I wanted to get this plant because it doesn't need like super bright light like if you guys know philodendrons they literally just can survive anywhere so it has a little bit of light and I wanted one in my room so that's like the only plant in my room and then oh hello Tyler's laying naked um all of my other plants are in the bathroom so this is my bird of paradise this is a new little spike coming i'm so excited and then that one is huge it's like really going up there and these two are brand new everything else um was already there when i bought it so it's doing really good this is the planter that i got from cb2 that i showed you guys in my home decor haul and I'm really excited. So that's my bird of paradise. This is my ficus. It's doing good. These are like all new growth. It's doing really good. Um, this is my skindapsis. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five. So much new growth on that one. Propagating this. This is my little string of hearts propagation that I have going on here. One little root. If you can see there. It's kind of hard to see, but oh, there we go. She's rooting out. So I'm super excited about that. This I got from Amazon so that I could see what their humidity levels are. This is my Calathea medallion. So much new growth. I think this is new. This is new. I don't know. We got a lot of new growth happening there. She's really pretty. This is my philodendron Brazil. This one has so much new growth. I got this when I went up to Oakland to see my sister so those are all my plants they're all in the bathroom they're all doing well um but I just had to stop buying plants that needed to be in the bathroom because as you can tell it's getting kind of crazy and kind of packed in there and yeah so I am on like a plant hiatus I'm not allowed to buy any more plants and yeah so I'm gonna get to filming now. That was a very long-winded little chat, but I feel like you guys like when I just kind of talk with you, chill out, just talk about whatever's happening. So yeah, catch you guys later. On my channel, channel, channel. <laughs> Got him, channel, channel, channel. I am losing it. Okay, come on, we're keeping it rolling. Let's go. This is it, right here. So much new jean. No, no, no. Prized, no. I just can't win also so I just need one minute please all content con 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 <laughs> ah! oh, no where I'm like the breakdown I just had from filming literally what I feel like you don't see most of the time is like the outtakes breakdowns a million times it takes to actually film one sentence it's like next level and then you get all the freaking noise from outside the motorcycles the cars the planes the crying children it's like oh the buzz saw the barking dog literally I'm like can y'all shut up for five seconds please I'm finally done I am going to clean up this huge mess that I just made because it is like a disaster. I moved my pompous grass so it could be in my background. I have my mirror over here. It belongs over there. So we're about to do a little cleanup in my room a little bit and get this together. Alexa, play. I know you feel like you want me and I guess in a way you do. I'm
breath on reveling emotions I need some space to think this through Right on the line, no Losing in on you is the last thing I Our fave place, getting some dinner. Yum. Look away so you won't see. Cause the pain is in my eyes. Feels like I could break it any moment. And shatter your insides. If you feel my mind. Okay, we're all done eating our late lunch slash early dinner. Um, I just finished editing a video and now I'm just gonna relax go and take my makeup off and Do my nighttime skincare you guys know I hate wearing makeup for too long and I look super oily right now So I need to go take off my makeup, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna end the vlog here I'm gonna just kind of decompress get ready for the work week. I'm gonna be filming another weekly vlog So stay tuned make sure you guys are subscribed for that. It's gonna be a really fun one I have a lot of fun stuff happening this next week and yeah i'm gonna talk about it more in the next vlog so make sure you guys are subscribed and also make sure you guys check out anna Luisa's pieces they have some really awesome stuff on their site lots of cute jewelry items if you want to treat yourself they're a great little snag so make sure you guys check those out and i'll see you guys in the next video Light a Myself inside the juice, yeah. You know I drum blows, yeah. Go blame the drum blows, yeah. It's just the drum blows, yeah. Walk around like who you, yeah. Just something you get used to, yeah.